Hey y'all, I am so excited for this video. This is going to be part one of sharing my homeschool space with y'all. Today, we're gonna look at the behind the scenes, some of the projects that went into making over this space, as well as a little haul of school supplies and decor that we bought while we were doing the makeover for this space. Part two of this makeover will be in a second video coming to you shortly, and that will be an actual tour of the space so that you can see how it turned out after all of my hard work. My name's Kayla. I'm a second generation homeschool mom to two girls aged seven and almost five. We live in Texas in a fixer upper home, and I love to share all about home education, books, resources. I also love to share about homemaking and DIY and decor. So if you love any of that stuff, make sure you click the subscribe button, click the notifications bell, so you'll be one of the first to know every time I have a new video out. All right, are you ready? Let's go back in time <laughs> to July of this year, and let's look at this footage of making over this room. So here you can see what the room used to look like. It was in desperate need of some paint, and some TLC. So that is exactly what we're gonna start with. We're going to do a lot of painting in this room. Um, some of the paint was just very old, like that gross yellow color you see on the door there. That is original to the house, or at least pretty close, um, and it hasn't been touched. And then everything else just really never got finished when we bought the house and moved in. So I was done with it. I really wanted to paint it, give it a fresh face, and finally have this room finished to where I can be proud of it and be happy every time we're in it, which is a lot. You will also see my daughter pop in and out as this video goes on because she loves a good project, y'all. She's just like her mama. And so anytime I am working on a project, whether it's a craft project or a DIY or decorating project, she is such a great helper and she wants to be right by my side. painting of trim and doors and baseboards and crown molding and all of that stuff. I've done a lot of it in my day. So if you are wondering what type of paint I recommend, I will have that linked in the description box below. We are really big Sherwin-Williams fans. Their paint is a little pricier than the brands that you might find at Home Depot or Lowe's but it is really worth the extra investment. They also have coupons and they run great sales sometimes, so you can definitely save a little bit of money that way. But honestly, their paint just cannot be beat. I love the quality and durability of their paint. This homeschool space does connect to my back hallway, which leads to my back door, leads to my laundry room, leads to my garage and kitchen. So that is this area here. I did decide to paint one of the walls in our homeschool room black. I personally love black walls, and I thought that this would work really well with our black calyx shelving system from Ikea, which you'll see later. 
It took a long time, but all the painting was now complete, and it was time to do my favorite things, which were shopping and decorating and putting those final touches on the space. Um, I absolutely love this part. Yeah, so excited to show you some of the things I got. We did pick up some school supplies because this was right around the time when those were going for sale. All right, so this is a pretty small haul. I didn't get a whole bunch of supplies, mainly because we already have a lot of supplies still. We tend to buy things throughout the year as we need them. So I wanted to take advantage of the back to school availability and pricing to stock up on a few things, but we didn't need a whole lot. And some of these have already been opened and broken into. So I got some more pencils, of course. This brand is our favorite. I think it's everyone's favorite. Um, I got the regular ones, which we've already broken into. But I also saw these colorful ones. They're not colored pencils, but just the outside and the erasers are colorful. And I thought that those were a little extra fun, so I picked up those as well. And then we got some more of these. These are our favorite markers. These were from Walmart. The pencils were from Target. And then this is also from Walmart. I picked up this really big set of tempera paints. Tempera paints, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It has 21 colors and I really love these little plastic jars that they come in. We are actually at the point now where we really needed paint. Um, I don't think I've bought any new paint in like two years. And then over here, these are actually from Amazon. All right, so I went ahead and opened these because I couldn't open them with one hand, but I was looking for these specifically. They are clothespins with a push pin attached to it. So we are gonna use these for our bulletin board. So yeah, I'm excited about those. Those were very inexpensive on Amazon. And everything that I can link, I will go ahead and link below. These actually came in a three pack, but the other ones are already in use. Um, these are the best erasers, you guys. I believe I got these off of Amazon, but I have seen them at Target and Walmart as well. We love these erasers. They leave a lot less residue than regular erasers. These I got from the Target dollar section. They are just those um, reusable plastic sleeves that you can slip a worksheet into and then use over and over with like a wipe off marker. They were only a dollar in the tar Target dollar section. I actually have quite a few of these already. I'm actually going to be using these in my girl's bedroom, so I was looking for specific colors, if that makes sense. I will be showing y'all in an upcoming video how we're gonna use these in their room. Next thing that I got is this giant pad of watercolor paper. This was at Walmart. It was very inexpensive. Um, my girls love to paint. They love to do watercolor and we go through quite a bit of this paper. So I was excited to find a lot of it at a really reasonable price. We needed some more glue sticks. These were at Walmart um, for a very, very good price. This was from the Target dollar spot. Again, I believe this was like $3. They had a whole bunch of these sets and I know I've seen some other homeschool mamas pick these up but they are really cute they are these little metal boxes with these magnet sets inside this one is um architectural styles throughout history we're studying um ancient history this year so i think that we will be able to use this as a fun resource to learn more about that and then all of the magnets come in these little pop-out sheets, which is also magnetic. So that's kind of fun. You could almost use it like a little puzzle. Um, and then the actual individual buildings are magnets as well. So it has famous buildings from different time periods and different places. 
Okay, and then the next thing that I got, I picked these up at Walmart. I actually couldn't find them at Target. Um, they only had the crayons at Target. But Crayola has come out with this really awesome line called The Colors of the World, which is a bunch of wonderful different skin tone colors. And I know they have these in crayons. Um, my girls don't use crayons all that much anymore, so I was really excited to see that they also had them in markers and in pencils. And we're really excited to use these. Okay, and then the very last thing that I purchased this year for our homeschool is a new book stand. And this one is from Amazon. And now I am setting up some of our books. I also purchased additional shelves from Ikea for my husband to hang to add some more book storage. And I'm hanging some really cute tassels on our chalkboard. We actually had those up already, so they're not new, but I love them. Here is a peek at our chalkboard set up for the new year. So I got some prints. Let's see what we have. All right, so I printed the girls each their own weekly routine. I'll explain more about those later. Yeah, probably I'm gonna make a new video about this new routine. But look at these gorgeous prints that I got for our homeschool room. So I got this homeschool rules, which is so cute. I got this off of Etsy, I'll link it below. And then this one is also off of Etsy. Um, a different shop on Etsy and it is little pictures for each of the qualities the fruitage of the spirit I love this so much I'm really excited to put these up and I was really fortunate I got a really good deal on these frames they're just like really nice wooden frames um, I think I got these at Burlington and I got a set of three frames for $16.99 which is such a good price for this size so yeah we're gonna put these in here and get them on the wall thing that I got guys were these beautiful posters so these two the birds and the butterflies are by Cavallini papers I know these are really popular with homeschoolers so you might have seen them before this bird one I actually have had for a long time I just had it in a different room and I've decided to bring it into our homeschool space and then this poster is a little bit different. This one is from Amazon, but I've also seen it at Target. It is the solar system, and it's hung like a vintage poster, similar to the Cavallini posters, with the wood on the bottom and top. But what's different about this is it's actually a vinyl material, so it's a lot thicker and more durable. Whereas these Cavallini ones are really thin paper. I'm very excited for the direction that the room is going. Thank you all so much for sharing a little bit of your day with me. I'm so happy that you came over to watch this. I hope that you really enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can see part two of this video when I will actually be doing a tour of our homeschool space in all of its finished beautiful glory. And I'll show you how I organized all of the supplies that you saw in this video as well. I will see y'all then. Happy homeschooling.